Are you a middle school math teacher struggling to fit everything that you have to teach in your 45 minute math block? In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to structure your class so that you can get everything in to your 45 minute class period. If you don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. As a middle school math teacher, I when I first started, I actually had 90 minute uh, class get, uh, class periods. So we had plenty of time to do all the things. And then I moved into a school where we had 45 minutes and that was a huge struggle for me. So whether or not you have been struggling to figure out how to get everything in 45 minutes or you're moving into a school that has that only has 45 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Now, before I dive, before I show you what my actual structure of classroom looks like, I want to just remind you of the importance of making sure that you have set up your classroom routines and your rules and procedures because your students, in order for things to run efficiently in your classroom and to really make the most of all of your minutes, your students have to know the routine, okay? And we have, um, there are videos on my channel for, for while we talk about the routines that you need. Um, I can link them in the description box below, but it's really, really important to make sure that your routines your students know their routines and that they do the routine. Um, okay, so how do we actually fit everything into a 45 minute class block? So I'm gonna share my screen with you and show you this image I created so that you can see exactly how my class is laid out. Okay, so here's my 45 minute math class. So minutes one through five, we are completing the bell ringer. My students know that when they come in, they get right to the bell ringer. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to remind them. Obviously I do in the beginning. It takes a lot of reminding, a lot of practice, but we get to a point where I don't have to say anything. I don't have to remind them. They come in and they automatically get started. We cannot waste time. So we spend probably three minutes going over or doing the bell ringer, maybe two minutes going over the bell ringer. And it is just kind of lightning fast. It gives me a second to take attendance. Um, kind of gather myself together if I was in the middle of something that morning. And then we move into reviewing last night's homework. I give my students 10 minutes to do this. Sometimes it takes less than 10 minutes, um, but I give them at most really 10 minutes. And if they need more time, I, I very rarely have students who need more time to review the homework because I don't give a lot. But if they do, I will ask them to um, stay after class for a few minutes or go over the homework during our independent work time. Then we move into teaching today's lesson. So that usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. If it takes more than 15 minutes, then it rolls into our you know, homework independent work time, which is fine because really having my giving my students a few minutes um, here, I give them 13 minutes to do homework independent work time. And that's like, that's a lot. So. If it takes me, you know, 20 minutes to go over a lesson, it's okay because I still have time on the back end to allow them to go over homework, gives me a chance to kind of answer questions. And then the last two minutes is dismissal. Each class period, not gonna lie, feels like a whirlwind because we are moving and grooving. If you would like to um, incorporate stations in your math class, that takes a little bit more uh, planning because we need time to practice our stations. We need time to practice expectations and behaviors. Um, so, but it's doable. And if you're interested in using math stations or math workshop, whatever you want to call it, I have a free training that I will include right in the link in this description that you can watch where I go in depth into how to start with stations, how to incorporate stations, what your stations can be and how to use stations, whether you have 45 minutes or 90 minutes. We dive really deep into all of these um, topics. And so I don't want to talk too much about that, but it does take a little bit of practice. If you want to incorporate more projects in your class, again, if you were used to 90 minutes and 
and you knew that a project would take, let's just say three days, if you now only have 45 minutes, your projects might take six days or seven days. So you just have to plan accordingly and really use your time wisely. Again, we really wanna make sure our students know the routine, that they're not asking questions, wasting time, because we don't have time to waste time, right? But it's doable. We just have to structure our classes in a way where we can use our time effectively to get everything in. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my schedule, and I hope that it helps you kind of figure out how you want to structure your class because everyone's different. I totally understand, but I think sometimes it helps to see a visual of what other people are doing because it helps us see what we can do in our classes too. So until next time, bye for now.